Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial and today we will continue talking about adaptive family so adaptive family this is a really endless uh, topic so anyway I will show you how we can use our adaptive family in project so we will create the project and we will create some adaptive family and I will show you how we can manipulate with that so for those who didn't watch the, my previous video I really highly recommend watch it before you will uh, continue work with this tutorial and after that just come back to this tutorial and you will understand all the stage what I will do if not just leave a comment and I will try to help you so and now we can start let's start it so the now uh, I no need these two points what we get uh, what we did the last I mean the previous video we just will delete it so I have four points as you can see and now we will work with the parameters so the first parameter what I need I need reporting parameter uh, and how we can create it we need one more adaptive point so to create adaptive point uh, I will go to the create again to the reference and I will find here the point element okay and the reference will be my level reference so I will put my point on the level reference I will select them and I will make it adaptive one as you can see here it's on the our plane in the same uh, position like number four and I will place it uh, more more near to point one okay so what I'm gonna do next next I will use the dimension so here is my dimension and just make sure dimension going from the point to the point okay now we have the distance between that and as you can see if I will move around that one just give me a second if I will move the distance it's changing okay so what are you gonna do next next I want to control this distance between that point and point one uh, with my uh, size of the uh, panel okay so if you will go to the parameters as you can see the main thing what controlling uh, size of our panel this is uh, height as you can see uh, 2500 millimeter here it's controlling everything so if I will say here 1900 millimeter and apply as you can see changing everything okay so we should control this height how we can do that actually pretty simple let's select this parameter and let's create the new parameter and let's call it like ref so it's mean like reference and let's make instance and reporting parameter let's say okay let's go back to the pra parameters and as you can see here the reference parameter before we will uh, do something I will recommend you select this parameter go and edit and switch reporting parameter let's say ok copy reference parameter paste to the height go back to the reference parameter default change it and let's do it report parameter let's go ok and ok as you can see now if I will change position of this point, let's say I'll change position of this point, the my height of the my uh, building is changing. I mean the panel, not building. Okay, so awesome. Now we can manipulate uh, with the reporting parameter by only this dot. Uh, we I will show you later on how we how it will, will be work with our um, geometry. But now I want to make some extra thing, uh, the, some extrusion on the middle. So how we can do the extrusion on the middle? Uh, I mean the void uh, on the middle side. We will go to the top view here we are under top view and what the next next I want to change the my uh, graphic to the warframe because I don't want to see my surface so my extrusion should be always be on the middle side so for that one I again should use the points go to the reference find here the point element and just put it on the middle side here and on the middle on the other side okay select all these points and make it uh, the spline between all them select this small line and convert it to the reference line like this so now we have the reference line which follow our all points as you can see uh, pretty uh, pretty well so what we're gonna do next next we should find middle this uh, middle the point so let's go to the reference we will find again here the point and let's put it exactly on the middle point of this reference line okay now if you will select this zero you can or uh, this point you will see uh, our normalized curve is 0 0.5 it means exactly on the middle again we'll go again to the reference find here the now cycle and go uh, oh the first thing we should choose the reference plane let's go to the set and let's pick up that side reference points reference point as you can see and let's uh, 
let's select exactly this point as we can see right now okay so uh, for example if uh, the this dot will change position for example to 0 0.3 you will see my uh, cycle also will change the position we will leave on the 0 0.5 like that and what i will do i will make the radius for that one but before i will do this radius i need to do extrusion go to the select first the cycle after that go to the create form and select the void form select the void form uh, Revit asking which type you want i want uh, 2d one and let's see what we have here as you can see negative it's a uh, 600 millimeter let's make like 1500 millimeter and positive we will do like six meter so it will be enough okay as you can see it's working now i want change for example my radius let's select this profile just uh click on that make temporary and let's create the new parameter for that dimension go here and call it radius let's make it instance let's make it instance let's say okay and what i'm gonna do next uh, let's go to the parameters and let's change to the 800 millimeters let's apply invalid formula let's say okay so it's working as you can see okay so what next let's check everything is it working or no so if i will changing as you can see changing everything and void too so let's change my wireframe uh, graphic mode to the hidden line and as you can see we get something like that okay awesome so we should now load inside to the sum project so let's create the sum project for this pen and now let's create some project let's go to the file let's create the new Let's go to the conceptual mess because I don't want any family. I want to just working with that one and let's create it. Now I will straight away will go to the floor plan. And first what I need, I need the, some line. Let's create the line like 17 meters is okay. Uh, okay, and let's uh, make the extrusion. I will go to 3D. Okay, so and let's prepare it. So like I will do 9 meter, 9 meter offset and I will do extru uh, surface uh, divide. After that, I will change my fixed number to distance and I will do each panel like 3 meter. Why not? 3 meter by 3 meter. Okay, and we get something like that. I will select all this panel and I will change the surface representation to the nodes because I need to use the nodes. I will go again to the plan, plan view. I will select everything and I will do ex uh, copy like near with that. You can see now it's near. Okay, let's uh, close now. Uh, let's load now our panel inside to the project, and let's place it like one by one. One, two, three. Here, here a bit hard. Four, and five. As you can see, our panel is here. And what I'm gonna do next? I will select this panel, and I will copy it with the repeater. So we copy it, as you can see now with the repeater, and it's working well. But nothing changing, right? It's totally same. Of course, because uh, the the distance between that point and that point and that point and that point, that point it's same. Let's change, for example, uh, that side, left side. I will use this uh, this dot, for example, and I wanna move it a bit or not. Uh, this dot it's not will work because it's locked. So let's change the position. Mm, let's say we'll go to the floor plan it will be more faster i will choose that one and i will change position like that and you will see now it's changing you can see right now we will go to 3d and you will see how it's changing yes yeah, so some it's uh, broken now but uh, because the distance is really too high too big one and you can see the uh the distance of that it's changing so uh, as this way you can control without dynamo of course you can use dynamo it will be more perfect uh, because you will control everything but here as you can see uh, our panel only control it like visual only visually i will do like this and you will see how it's will changing you can see smaller part and bigger and bigger because uh, our pa our reference panel working like the curve one and our panel now also like a curve. Of course, we can use the uh, repeater, uh, I mean the reference parameter also for the uh, this void. Uh, and I think we will do it right now. Let's go back to the, our panel. We will find the parameters. I will switch off now the reference uh, to the uh, instance one, okay. And uh, our radius will be, it's uh, like, let's say, 
let's say our reference will be distance distance divide by 3 so and this is will be whole of our panel and the reference parameter we will make the reporter again so it's not working like that so <laughs> we should I will delete it yeah the simple like that I will delete this parameter I will say ok and I will create it again so let's do the ref instance I will say ok I'll go here here it will call the ref I'll say ref and this parameter will be reporting one let's say ok let's say ok as you can see it was everything changed let's load inside of the project and let's overwrite everything just give you a few seconds and now we will go to 3d view after it's finished as you can see if our panel uh, more extruding and we can see more hole tree i think it's i think it's a, a lot i should make uh, a bit smaller the number but uh, i think you get the point how to that do that i will extrude a bit and you will see how it's working so if uh, i'm doing extrusion bigger you can see that my void is bigger and of course my panel is working not so well <laughs> anyway you know how to use the reporting parameter and you know how to create something uh, as that so you can create now any parameters i think this that's it about the adaptive family you now know everything i mean like not like basic level you know like uh, advanced level because you know how manipulate with reporting parameters you know how to connect uh, point with point and you know how to create geometry and void inside the geometry so uh other things it's already will be uh, upper advanced level and uh, Actually, uh, not all the people need this level. I mean the upper than than you know now So I think it was helpful for you guys uh, if you find it's helpful don't forget about the like and the comments and You will find this fan family as always under this video. You will find the link Thank you guys for watching and see you next time to support my channel You can go to gumroad check that my store there you can find bottle of this dynamo scripts or you can buy two-story complete house or even the two-story residential classic house by this way you supporting my channel and you making me happy to creating the new videos for you guys and that's it from today thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe my social media leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time